I am considering trading my Audi for this Tesla. So yeah, we're gonna test drive. Yeah. Oh, it does, huh? Can you put it on there again? Look at my outfit, it matches. <laughs> It feels really strange driving this. It's like so different from my car. It's quiet. It feels nice. It feels heavy. It feels very clean and minimalist. Um, so far, so good. All right, so I'm renting this Model 3 for the week. Um, my car is having a few issues, but yeah, um, get to try it to see if I like the drive. So I am officially in the Tesla Model 3 and I believe, so it's 247 miles. I believe that is the non long range or the short range one. This is the little space area and then this is where your phone goes. It just like kind of hangs out there. Um, it charges it as well. This, like, it's hard to see it, but it's white, like the dash. They got the white seats as well. Beautiful, very, very classic, very clean. Um, so yeah, I am gonna drive this for the week. My car has issues, um, which is kind of making me wanna get rid of it and trade it in and get a Tesla Model 3. And so, yeah, it's, it's awesome. This car is really cool. I'm glad I test drove it so I know how to drive it. And then, yeah, so. Hello, so I am here. I'm so excited to drive this car for the week and I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's go. Okay, so I need to adjust the mirrors. So let's go. They taught me this yesterday at the Chill, comfort, roll, and then oh, this one has autopilot charging, control safety. Sentry off service. Okay, let's see. Hey, so I don't actually know how to forget how to change them. Oh no, I guess it looks good as it is. But I should know how to change that. So let's see. Display maybe? Nope. Controls? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. That was to fold the mirrors. Lights are on auto. Here we go. So I use this to okay, I want it down. Oops. So this car has like a lot of very like interesting ways to control. It's it's like a computer. It's basically like a phone. So you just have to like control everything using this. Um, auto dim save. Okay, so that saved it. And I guess, let's see, music. I need to do this before I start driving because that's gonna be sketchy. Oh, lazy weekend mornings, what's that about? I'm not gonna play music because I am gonna have to, okay, they already have a Spotify account, that's cool. I'll just go with that. And I'm not gonna play music because it's gonna like the the it's gonna remove the possibility of this car from um or possibility of this video getting posted. So or like the copyright thing. So there's that. It looks good. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's go. It's not the best angle, but safety first. Oh, this is interesting to know. So it says to be able to do the live traffic vis visualization where you can see like other people next to you, um, music streaming, internet. So you have to subscribe to it, um, $9.99 a month. So, okay, that is good to know. 
So that is an additional monthly cost. It's basically like buying the internet for the car. Sitting here because I don't know how to figure out the song or it's for it to play music. So I'm texting with the Turo now. To reset the Tesla using these two bot buttons. Here we go. It is a computer after all, folks. This is what it is to be a te in a Tesla. It's kind of clunky sometimes. It's a little hard to figure out, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if you're technologically challenged, uh, it's, yeah, it's intense, but figured out the Bluetooth. I had to delete accounts. It was full. I had to restart the video or the screen and do all the stuff but now my bluetooth's connected and i'm going to be driving safely and i get to pick the music so it's monday time to go to work <laughs> i love this car so much it's so fun uh. hello okay so i drove from la jolla all the way to newport beach and I'm um, approaching Fashion Island area. I'm returning my old equipment from my old um, position, like my monitors, my laptop. Um, so far, I am at 127 miles left. So let's see, how much did it? Okay, so, well, hold on. But basically, it looks like it's about halfway of the battery Ranger left. And, um, yeah, I don't know, like this is the short range one, so it started at 270 and then I drove a little bit yesterday, so it was like maybe 250 or something, but um, it's gonna need a charge. Well, at least when I'm when I'm here in Newport, I won't have to drive too much, like locally. It'll be like a few miles here and there. Um, and my Airbnb is actually walkable from my new house, or my, or my, uh, the Airbnb is walkable to my work, so I think, I probably will just walk um, and then on Thursday when I go to stay at the hotel I'm thinking I can charge it there so the Airbnb I asked them they said they don't have um, they don't have a Tesla so they don't have the charger um, in the garage but yeah so far I love the ride it's very in safe feet, um, ride on to Santa Rosa Drive. I didn't activate the self-driving because I just was like trying to get here quickly so I don't really know. I'm gonna try to do it like on the way back maybe. I don't know, it scares me. It scares, I'm sure like I can just put the brakes on or whatever, but I don't know, I'm just not used to it. Good morning. Um, okay, so I dropped off my equipment and I'm now heading to the Airbnb and it's a beautiful Monday so far, it's sunny. All right, oh yeah, I was gonna show you. So it's 124 miles, so it's halfway. You see that? One trip to Newport. This place is so cute. It's right on the water. Oh my gosh. Hello, new Airbnb. <laughs> Hello, okay, so I'm walking to work. I parked the car at the Airbnb and because I found a really good spot right in front of the, the entrance and now I'm walking. It's only like a four minute walk, it's so exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I walked because look, there's Lido already. It definitely would have taken me longer to drive. So I am heading to Pilates now, um, trying it out. I've been in this place for yoga, but not Pilates. It's called Ekam. Got my socks, ready to go. I feel really spoiled driving this. All right, so I am at Ekam Yoga and Pilates. I'm about to take a Pilates class. It's so funny because I realized I'm matching the car. White on white on white. White and the outside's white. Um, first impressions of this car, I really like it, although you see that I've already used um, 40, I've already used 60% of the battery. Um, 
I don't have, so I'm renting a home or I'm renting right now. I don't have like a single family home or anything. So charging at home would be difficult, but I, when I'm out here in Newport, I stay at either hotels or Airbnb so I could charge that way. So after speaking to some people, they were saying how it's so much more convenient to charge at home and they kind of are concerned that charging um, at the supercharger regularly might not be great. Um, when I told the, the guy that helped me for the test drive, when I told him I didn't have a house I was renting, he was like, um, yeah, I don't know. But like he would, he, his face kind of changed. So I was like, oh, maybe that's not a good thing. So I've been watching YouTube videos and all that. My biggest reason why I would even consider getting a Tesla and trading in my Audi is because I used to work from home primarily, um, but now I am doing a commute from San Diego to, from La Jolla to Newport Beach um, every week, like at least once a week, actually mostly just once a week because I stay here. Um, like I, I spend the night in Newport, but yeah, so it's nice like gas wise it would be a lot less and cheaper but um i think the charging thing i've I, from what i've heard from what the dealership and other places told me or the tesla employee he said when you charge at home it's 50 percent cheaper than charging at a tesla supercharger so lots to think about but um also another first impression of this car is the audi interior is a lot more elevated um, which is probably expected because it's just like, you know, the Model 3 is kind of like their standard car, I, was, I suppose. Um, little things like, so little things like, I find this to be kind of cheap. Um, the lights are not, I don't know. I don't know why. Tell me why. Do you guys agree? I find this to be kind of like, not that elevated. But um, the car itself like this feels nice. I read a YouTube review and the guy had 35,000 miles on his Tesla and he said his seats, his seats are stained. So I would probably go with black, even though white looks cool just for like resale value. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's sleek, it's minimalistic and yeah. All right. I'm heading to Pilates now. I got my socks. I'm going to go in there. So so I'm home after Pilates and I am having a True Food Kitchen Ancient Grains Bowl gluten-free and I am about to respond to some YouTube comments and also edit the next video. Walking home for lunch and checking on the Tesla. Hello. I wish they washed it. Turo did not wash it for me, but one thing that I find is a little bit annoying. So my Audi, it's like keyless everything. Like I can open the door, I can open the trunk, everything with no key, but the Tesla, you either have to use your phone or um, use your phone or the, the key card thing, which is kind of, okay, not to like hate, but it's super flimsy like look at this it's bent i'm like for something that's supposed to be your key card how is that possible <laughs> it's a little chilly today let me show you where i'm staying for the next two weeks i'm here in the newport harbor it's very quiet right now it's so nice This is the unit. Oh yeah, so I found out that for the Tesla, if you have it programmed to your phone, that you can actually unlock, lock, walk away, it will lock, walk up to the car, it'll open. So because this is a rental from Turo, that, or Turo or Turo, whatever, that's probably why it's not programmed to my phone. So I have to use the little like card, but other than that, it should be easier to use. And um, welcome to my, if you watched the last vlog where I talked about a work week in my life, I am now in my 
second Airbnb. Um, it's so close to my work. I just walk there. The water and all the boats are literally just right behind the house. And yeah, I just feel so grateful. It's so cute and it's all so beachy, everything in here. I am just finishing up some laundry and gonna take myself to dinner and yoga. First time driving today because I walked to work and I learned something really cool that there's actually a valet mode on the Tesla Model 3. Um, I also plan on using the autopilot on my way home to uh, San Diego. Um, I don't think it works that great on streets, but you have to be able to go at least 30 miles per hour. So I can't wait to use that. Um, have you guys seen the show Upload? It's a show on Amazon Prime, but basically the lead character dies because his car like sabotaged him. Um, it's really, it's not as dark as it seems. It's actually very lighthearted, but um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna, let's see. Cool, yeah. These are all the settings. Um, you can change the speed that you want the car to go and when you're on self-driving it is the road is gonna look blue so stay tuned for that i'm gonna use that on the way home to san diego there's also all these other modes like if you're getting towed you have to use that car wash mode i'm trying to find the the um the mode where it's like it's a valet mode let's see controls maybe nope I should probably turn Sentry on. Actually, that uses up more battery, but Sentry is like the camera around the car. So it's going to basically um, be recording at all times in case people are gonna do something in your car. This is automatic. Um, this is to make your car uh, or your headlights switch from bright to regular. Let's see, I have it on chill, comfort and roll because I don't like when um, it stops right away. Uh, let's see. I'm about 105 miles left, so I'm under 50%. I'm staying at a hotel. Well, I'm staying at a hotel on Thursday, so that I already contacted them. They have a charging station. And then I'm also having a like spa appointment on Thursday at a hotel as well. And they also have a charger. So I'm going to be like, you know, going 100% before my drive to San Diego. Um, what else? Walk away door lock. Yep. There's a bunch of keys. There's like a few iPhones. That's my phone's not connected. I guess I can do that. Should I do that? Oh, I need the Tesla mobile app. I don't have that. Headlights, display. trips don't really touch that navigation safety allow mobile access yep dash cam joe mode i learned about this so this is basically like if it won't play music um or loud like things on the back of like in the back seat so it won't do that um because if your kids are sleeping, it can, I guess, apparently this guy, Joe, tweeted Elon Musk and was like, hey, um, can you lower the volume of the sounds in the back seat? Because my kid keeps waking up and he responded. So they called it after, they called it after him. They named it after him. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. And then Al, I am off to, I am off to, um, grab my dinner and go to yoga. Oh yeah, so I think I brought this up when I did my um, test drive, but when you put your phone right here, it starts charging. My phone's pretty low battery, so I need to do that. So if you watched the vlog uh, where I share my work week in Newport, um, you'll know that my car was in the dealership getting fixed for a coolant leak. And then I picked it up on Friday of last week or no, I picked it up Thursday at lunch, drove it back to San Diego. And then when I drove it back, essentially um, around like Friday at 6 p.m., the system started 
like alerting me like turn off your engine like coolant leak and I was so upset because I was like are you kidding me like I just got this fixed I drove all the way to San Diego basically when they repaired it they filled my coolant to like the level that it should be and then by the time that alert went off the coolant was this like almost empty and I was so frustrated because one like it affected my driving this weekend like I was so stressed and then um I basically had to like refill it with coolant anywhere I went so like I would like drive to yoga refill with coolant drive to target refill it was I was like dude I should not be doing this so clearly like what they fixed didn't fix the issue so I sent like three really really stern emails to the service manager being like one I need you guys to tow my car from San Diego to to like Orange County dealership because um there's no way I'm driving it two I need a way to get to the to like basically to work so either you guys can well I was basically like I'm gonna need a rental car or you guys need to get me like you guys need to get me a loaner but anyway neither of them like he didn't respond because he wasn't working this weekend so I was like in my head like spinning spinning wheels like super stressed and then finally I decided you know what I'm gonna book this rental it was so well I'll get to that book the rental and just let them reimburse me so mind meanwhile I'm over there on Sunday looking everywhere for any rental car that's available so I called like budget Avis called Hertz called Enterprise called I swear I think I called all of them literally I even called all the ones at the airport and apparently they're all sold out like they're sold out for one day they're sold out for the whole week it was just insane so I was like oh my gosh what do people do if you really really needed a car so then in the back of my head I was like what are my other options and I realized there's this app called Turo which I had heard about it before I'd never never used it I ended up then booking a Model 3 um, on the car or on the Turo app and I was like okay great now I can like rest easy knowing that I have a ride to work tomorrow like uh, I'll deal with the car I'll do, deal with my car when they get back to me at least it's just parked in La Jolla like I don't need to worry about it it's just there so then like an hour and a half later I get an email notice from Turo saying your your um your Turo person has canceled your reservation I was like oh my gosh are you kidding me like it, it was just so um stressful and then I saw he messaged me saying like hey um hey like I'm sorry I'm traveling so I won't be able to do the handoff so in my head I'm like all right all right then I like start searching Turo again thankfully this guy this guy who owns this car and has a Turo business thankfully he was available he seemed really really responsive this specific car to rent on Turo is about uh 110 110 per per day of a rental which is not bad I feel like uh rental car companies are way more expensive for like a nicer car um so you know in my head I was like all right I don't know if they're gonna reimburse me they really should but if they don't I still want to test this car to see if I should consider getting it um like assuming that really bad stuff is happening with my car I'm really hoping not but um so I was like, either way, I'm going to, I'm going to book the rental. Um, I hear back from the service manager on Monday. He's like, no worries. We're going to reimburse you. And we're also going to tow your car. So I'm like, yes, they said yes to both things that I asked for, which is like just, you know, standard. Um, cause I already paid for the repair and in my head, I'm like, I paid for what? For nothing. Cause it's still broken. Um, so now as of today is Tuesday I am still waiting to hear back they towed my car today I'm still waiting to hear back what the diagnosis on my car is um, if it's requiring something really really major more so than just like a small leak which I already paid like 1600 for to replace the thermostat 
housing and the water pump, if it's much more than that, I'm, I'm probably going to have to decide what I want to do and it might be to sell that car. Um, but then, yeah, so I don't know. I, I also, fun fact, okay, this is like a car, a whole car rent now. Fun fact, I actually asked my insurance agent um, how much it would be to insure a Tesla Model 3 versus what I'm paying. So my, and this is in the zip code of La Jolla, California, and my Audi A3 year 2017, the six month, the six month insurance on that is around $745 for six months. So around 160 a month, right? The Tesla is anywhere from, depending on if I get the long range or the standard range, it's, it's like 1200 for six months or, um, 13 to 1400. So it would up my monthly insurance premium from 160 to 220. So that was, that was a fun fact. And then another fun fact is my, um, current registration to like register my car is around $358. So like, you know, 360. Um, I found out that to register the model three brand new would be around $500 apparently because they, uh, electric vehicles don't pay for certain road like or you're not paying for gas which then pays for certain amounts of taxes or road fees or something like that so they get you on the they get you on the registration side and also because it's a newer car and it's more expensive so honestly I really liked that my registration finally came down um so it's a lot I find that it does increase your transportation costs in the meantime, but then you also save on gas. But then the f other factor is if I'm going to be supercharging, which they say is not great for your battery if you're using that every week, then that will also add maybe around $18 every time you fully charge it. So I think from what I'm seeing, the best case scenario is if you are able to charge, um, if you're able to charge at home, that's the cheapest. Uh, it's going to be 50% cheaper to do that. Um, and then I'm going to find out how the destination chargers are at the hotels I'll be staying at because maybe I can then just charge at the hotels every week um, when I stay there because uh, that might be just like, you know, make the most sense. So thank you for attending my TED Talk on cars. I'm just kidding. I, I really like... I mean, if it were up to me, I would have no car, but in California, you can't really exist um, without a car, unless you're maybe living in like downtown LA, but then you can't go anywhere else in LA. So uh, yeah, public transport is not the best. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm trying to manifest that my car is going to be just fine, that, you know, they did something wrong with the fix and they're going to repair it and um yeah so it's all kind of up in the air the other factor is that the tesla has a very uh a delayed delivery date um i believe the long range is may and then the standard range is september so yeah i just don't know that i can i don't know it's tough having my dinner before yoga and I learned as well that when you have a Model 3 or a Tesla, it would be best to park it where there is an internet connection so that when there's like software upgrades that needs to be pushed through that it'll be able to connect um, and download those updates. And I'm like, whoa, that is so interesting. Like, I can see why they're saying you need a garage because apparently some people are buying like Wi-Fi extenders so that they can, their car can connect or unless like unless you buy maybe that was like the old model threes but now there's this subscription thing to 99 a year with internet so i'm gonna guess that that finally solved that problem oh the owner's manual is on is electronic which is so rad i hated those paper books okay i'm gonna start reading through this while i'm sitting here 
Wait, this is so interesting. So check it out. I like this. So this right here, number two, I found out that that's the autopilot camera. It's This car is really high tech. Um, yeah, this manual school. I'm going to read through this. This is so awesome. Interior is super minimal. Look at that. Like, this is how you open the door. It's just like, bloop, press the button. What if, what if like, uh, the computer glitches and you can't get out of the car? Has that ever happened? <laughs> okay, regular touch screen. Yeah, that's a little concerning. Wow, so for autopilot, this is how it works camera um, above the rear license plate right there ultrasonic sensors in the front and rear bumpers camera on each door pillar which i showed you three cameras are mounted to the windshield above the rear view mirror above the rear view mirror okay camera is mounted to each front fender radar is mounted behind wow there's a lot of tech i can imagine that if something were to happen to a tesla and and like you know someone hits you and like like basically takes out one of these cameras that's probably why insurance is so much that makes all the sense in the world because you would have to fix it like i've actually felt this lane assist thing on my way here to, to orange county i didn't realize i had that turned on and it would i tried to like i kind of do this thing where when i switch lanes i sometimes just like slowly go into that lane like if there's no one there but i remember there was something like preventing me from doing that it was like keeping me from switching like like slowly it was like keeping me in the lane which is really cool um that's cool yeah i'm sitting here enjoying my dinner and reading about this this is so good this is such good research it's like it's like hands-on research meaning you're not reading about it you're actually like touching and feeling so I recommend if you're considering buying a Tesla, rent it out on Turo, see if you like it. But, okay, I like this. This is just so interesting. It says, the most important way to preserve the high voltage battery is to leave your vehicle plugged in when you are not using it. I didn't know that. This is particularly important if you are not planning to drive the Model 3 for several weeks. When left idle and unplugged, your vehicle periodically uses energy from battery system or from the battery for system test and recharging. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. It was like 100, now it's at 97 because I'm just sitting here eating my dinner. But I've never had a, I've never been in a car where it's like nice to sit and just hang out in the car. So they definitely like figured something out here. Okay. It says there's no advantage to waiting until the battery battery's level is low before charging. In fact, battery performance performs best when it's charged regularly. Very good to know. This is cool. Good to know. If you allow the battery to discharge to 0%, components may become damaged or require replacement. You are responsible for repair and are transporting expenses. Discharge-related expenses are not covered under warranty. Because I think they can tell, like... If you let it go to zero, they can tell somehow. It says never allow the battery to fully discharge. It discharges very slowly. It's like a phone. Um, battery can discharge at 1% a day. I also heard that it can lose like range after a while, like in the beginning, like when you first get it. Ooh. If the Model 3 is unresponsive, does not lock open or charge a low voltage battery, may be discharged. Yeah, see, this is what I was wondering. Like, if your battery's dead, you're locked out of your car, like, you can't drive it. Well, I guess you can't drive a regular gas car either if the battery's dead. So that's the same. Temperature. It likes... It likes ambient... Avoid. Avoid exposing above 140 fahrenheit oh my gosh palm springs isn't even that hot is it or below 22 f this would never work in calgary <laughs> no wonder it's all like in the milder climate states makes sense 
This is good stuff, you guys. I hope you're learning from this. Oh, it turned to like dark mode. I guess it's like becoming nighttime. See there, you can read it. So it says service intervals. Let's see, this is really good to know. So it says brake fluid every two years, AC desiccant bag six years. I'm guessing that's like, people have complained that their Model 3 AC has been smelling bad. I don't know if that's what it is. Air filter, yep. Clean and lubricate brake calipers every year or 12,500 miles. Okay, that's good. If in an area where roads are salted during winter, I've seen Teslas in Aspen. It's pretty baller. I heard some of the doors, like you can't unlock it because it's just frozen. Rotate tires every 6,000 miles. I heard tires is like the one thing on Teslas you gotta replace, obviously. Mm. Daily checks, brakes, monthly checks. Oh, this is cool, telling you what you need to do. This is so helpful. It's like the car manual you actually read versus like those paper ones. Fluid replacement. Battery coolant does not need to be replaced for the life of your vehicle, supposedly. Okay. Alright, well, I am going to start heading to my yoga class and finishing my dinner. Um, I actually enjoyed sitting here. It was really, <laughs> I'm parked in front of True Food at Fashion Island. It's actually quite nice sitting here. Oh my gosh, and look, the sunset. Uh, yeah, California, you're just too pretty. There's the wonderful Orange County sunset in, from the back of this Tesla. You could see so much of it because look how big the windows are. That sunset's too pretty not to record. I was actually wondering if a Tesla had windshield wipers. Now it's kind of silly. Oops. Center drive. It's kind of silly that I asked that. Hold up. Check out the sunset though. It's so pretty right now. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cute. Look at this. Oh, these colors. Turn left to stay on Newport Center Drive. If this doesn't convince you to move to California, I don't know what will. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now turn left to stay on Newport. The state really taxes us for living here, though, you guys. <laughs> it ain't cheap. It's pretty. It goes to the speed that. Whoa! If you touch the. Okay, there. That's self-driving right now. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. If you touch a steering wheel or you brake, oh, it's slowing down for us. Oh my gosh, 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 it's slowing down. Holy crap, holy crap, I'm not doing that. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, it's literally driving. Oh my god. Okay, it's nighttime now, so it's darker, but holy crap. That self-driving is crazy. Sorry, I'm yelling because I'm just like so shocked. It is the coolest thing. Um, it drove itself. It slowed down. It started to accelerate. I cannot believe it. All you Tesla owners who have been self-driving for like years now are just gonna be like, yeah, that's old news, bro. But no, that was my first time ever doing it. And I just like, finally brought the or finally came up with the courage to press like press down so you have to press down on the on the right like paddle twice to activate it and then the the road will look blue and oh my gosh I'm glad I tried it I cannot wait to use it from my really long drive not super long but from my drive from Newport Beach to La Jolla I cannot wait There, so it doesn't stink up the car. Grab my yoga mat, and I'm over at. You can't see it. It's raw yoga. There's a little button to make the trunk go down. Okay, I'm obsessed with self-driving now. This is crazy. It's literally driving. My foot's not on the gas. 
It wants me to apply a little bit of touch to the wheel so it knows you're still paying attention. Um, this car is very smart. It like knows if you're paying attention or not. It wants you to still keep your eyes on the road even though it's driving for you. Hello friends. Last time I was in this car, I was really sweaty and coming back from yoga. And um, I walked to work again today, which was so nice, but I'm heading to dinner at Gracias Madre and I get to drive the car again. It's like, I look forward to driving it. I'm like, yes, I get to drive it. Um, update from the Audi dealership. They said that my car had just like a hose that was loose, so they screwed it up and um, they're gonna do a few more tests on it and hopefully uh, Friday I will pick up the car. Or no, actually, I'm driving this home, but on Sunday I'm here for, to hang out with friends and I will um, pick up my car then and Lennox is gonna drive me up. So that's the story. I'm gonna miss this car. I'm glad it's not more as, as if you saw my rant. I'm glad it's not more intense of a repair. Um, I don't have to pay anything more. They just like fixed it and maybe I won't get a Model 3 after all. It's a significant step up in costs and I have my car paid off. So I don't know. We'll try it without a car payment for a little. See how it goes. But in the meantime, I was feeling very grateful or I feel very grateful that I got to drive this for a week almost, um, 88 miles. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to the Monarch Beach Waldorf Astoria in Dana Point, which is probably like 30 miles. So I'll be getting there with pretty much like to the T. They have Tesla chargers, they said. So wait, what is what percentage are we? Yeah, we're like 30 right now. I'll get there though, and then they'll charge it. The windows are all fogged up. It's kind of hard to see now. Um, how to defog it is right here. And then there's these buttons like front and back. And then these are the seat heaters, like one, two, three, press. So um, it's kind of working now. Do you see that? There we go. In class this morning, it's really early. I just woke up, but check it out. So my outfit is this like electric blue pants. You see this? Well, I decided to wear pants on top of it because I just don't know if these purplish electric blue pants are gonna um, stain the white seats and I would hate to do that to this rental and also um, I mean it'd be cool to like test it out since it's not my car but I just don't want to be that person um, this car has only sorry I have like a um, hair and nails vitamin but um this car has only 5,000 miles, so I just like want to be really nice to it. And maybe I'll rent it again in the future, but yeah. So the electric blue pants might not work with these white seats, especially after I get sweaty from the spin class. <laughs> Having a very real Housewives of Orange County day, um, you'll see. All right, as I said earlier, I'm wearing these like electric blue pants. Can you see it? There we go. Oh, there's the color. And I don't want to sit in that, so I need to put my pants back on. So that was a great workout. Little cardio burst to start off my very relaxing day. Um, I am heading to the Airbnb, gonna take a quick shower, checking out of my uh, Airbnb, heading to the Waldorf, Waldorf Astoria Monarch Beach, and then I'm staying in a hotel tonight, so um, back in back in Newport area. So, um, so yeah, I need to get all my stuff out of the house. <laughs> One observation: it's really hard to open these doors and get used to it. And also, this car you can really only hang like. And you can really only hang like one item up here. That's kind of annoying. I hang a lot of things because I get my laundry done. Because um, I don't have an in-unit laundry. But look, you can only fit one. And then the rest you kind of have to like stack. <gasps> Outfit of the day is this Viore super, super cozy jogger set. 
and I'm off. All right, so heading to Waldorf Astoria, living the Blair Waldorf life. No, just kidding. 60, 27%, 67 miles. Ooh. Um, so I will probably get there with 20% charge, which is perfect for supercharging if I was gonna supercharge, but I am gonna charge at the hotel. So this is just a straight shot. So what I think, so it's like 10 miles going straight. So I think I'm just gonna do, use autopilot the whole time and see how it does on the streets. All right, here goes. Okay, so we're just gonna go autopilot all the way down PCH. Let's do it. All right, let's see if it's gonna slow down. Here we're at the red light. Let's see, how you doing? Slow down. Yep. Okay. Is it stopping? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. So now it's at zero miles per hour. You can tell it's a red light. And I have my leftovers from last night. What is it saying? Apply slight turning force. Oh, uh, it says doesn't want to let me. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So this is what happened. The car got mad at me because I didn't hold the steering wheel while it was on autopilot because I was um, holding my food and I wasn't like controlling it while it was on autopilot. So it got really mad. So I guess, okay. So I guess autopilot, you can't drive hands-free. Tell me if I'm wrong, Tesla people. Cause it wants me to hold the steering wheel and it got really mad that I didn't. So now it deactivated my ability to do autopilot for the rest of this trip and I'm like okay sure but this is a smart car it won't let you drive hands-free um, for those of you that own a Tesla and are you're really experienced um, does the full self-driving does the full self-driving allow you to drive hands-free um, let me know in the comments below um, but so far I am blocked now from using this feature I think later on when I restart the trip um, it'll let me again, so we'll try again. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite part of this drive, check it out. This is Crystal Cove State Park. So freaking beautiful. This is the entrance to Laguna Beach from Newport. Resort parking to the right. Now your destination is on the left. Sick. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Hi, good, how are you? Good, welcome to Waldorf Astoria. Um, thanks, I have a um, spa reservation. Perfect, welcome. Um, Thank you so much. Um, it's my first time here. Is it possible to get my car charged while yeah. I'm here? So I'm gonna be here for until like two o'clock. Okay. Um, it's like twenty percent charge right now. So yeah, yeah, it definitely needs I'll to get get on charged. the charge right away. All for right. You. Thank you. And then we're on the call. I finished my massage and my facial. So relaxed so today I did a 90 minute serenity massage and then a 90 minute custom facial she did so many extractions my skin feels so clean and glowy um, and now I'm here at the uh, like little jacuzzi there's sauna behind me steam room um, oh, this is so relaxing such a beautiful day right now. Oh my gosh, it's literally so nice out. I am just relaxing out here, enjoying the sun before I head to my hotel to check in. My room's ready apparently. And I wanna see how much the Tesla has charged while I've been here at the spa. It'll be very, very interesting. I truly hope they charged it. I would be in trouble if they didn't. <laughs> out here waiting for the car. 
at the valet. Yeah, baby, 242 miles. It charged almost all the way and then it's gonna charge again tonight at the Hyatt. So I am stoked, woohoo. All right, so I am here at the Hyatt in Newport Beach. It's 92% and this hotel has a Tesla charger. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge it. So this is my first time actually doing this. Um, I have to pop up, open the charge port. Oh, here it is. So it says open charge port. Okay, I heard it open. Press this. So here is the charge port. It's actually my first time charging myself. Cause, all right, so Tesla electric vehicle parking. We're here at Hyatt Newport Beach. There's two of them. There appears to be another, is this a, yeah, there's another car, it's charging. So, pick this up. Ow, is it a palm tree? Okay, so it looks like a gas pump actually. There, and then I think when it's green like that, it means it's charging, so I'm gonna check in, leave the car here, bring my stuff down, get cozy in the room and come back for it. They said out of courtesy for other people that may need it, I'm gonna move the car. So at least I can fully charge it and I'll come back out here later. Okay, if I'm gonna be staying at the Hyatt and other hotels like while I'm up here, it might, even, it might make sense. I could just charge here for free. Oh, that's really cool. So while it's charging, it says an hour and 15 left. So I'll come back out here in an hour and 15. Wow, this car is really convenient if you have a charger like this. It's awesome. So I'm gonna set the timer for an hour and 15 and grab it when it's fully charged. This is great, free charging. Oh yay, okay, I checked in, I chilled a little, checked my emails and it's 100%, woo. I was gonna do in-room dining, but their options were pretty poor. For vegan options so i am heading to vibe a new place i haven't been to in newport here at vibe and i ordered kale chips oh, a cookie and a california chopped bowl everything in here in the store is vegan and plant-based and organic awesome Good morning and happy Friday. Today is the day that I return this car, but in San Diego. Um, it's very, very bittersweet. This car has been so much fun to have this entire week. And I'm actually heading to the Audi dealership now to check on my car. I found out that there was just a hose that was loose they fixed it i don't have to pay extra which is really really nice um they filled up the gas tank i was like hey you guys fill up the gas tank because it was a full tank when i gave it to you um and they're gonna reimburse me for this rental and yeah all in all you know what what started out as super stressful in the beginning of the week uh, feels like a win-win situation because I was able to try out the Model 3 for a week and I was able to get my car fixed. So now the big question is, should I sell the Audi um, for nearly what I paid for it, which is really, really crazy. So the, the Kelly Blue Book is around 25-ish and in a private sale, I can get 27. I think I can get even a little bit more because I already prepaid for the Audi, uh, like the Audi care package for 60,000 miles and 70,000 miles. I already paid for that. So that could be like very, you know, selling it and be like, hey, by the way, your next service is already like covered at the dealership. Or, and yeah, so I paid like 27 something for it and to sell it for 25, it's like pretty epic for having it for like, three-ish or no actually if I sell it for 27 that would just be like a break even for a used car which is like really really good um but the whole like situation is 
next month that car is going to be fully paid off so I will have be completely like debt free and whatever I was paying to the car I could literally just invest so I don't know it's it's a tough one um I am all about financial minimum or minimalism and you know maximizing my investing rate and but then again this car is pretty sweet and would save me um on gas to and from like going from San Diego to Newport so I don't know you guys like let me know in the comments below if you have an opinion on this I think the biggest factor that's kind of a question mark in my head about the Tesla is I don't have a garage is I don't have a garage so I live like right by the beach and it's not like a garage friendly kind of place um I park on the street and to be able to charge the car while I'm sleeping and just that convenience of it I, I've talked to like at least a handful of um Tesla owners already that I'm friends with and or my family members and yeah it's just like they do all all of them all of them charge it at home and or at work um and so technically I could charge it at work when I stay at the hotels now for free which is great but then I won't be able to like I don't have a, a place other than the supercharging stations in San Diego to charge it so I don't know that's a decision um obviously the delivery times for the Tesla I heard is May for the long range and September for the standard range and that keeps getting pushed back so you know this isn't like an immediate decision I also was able to secure uh, a personal line of credit um, that from like unrelated like like through connections um, from work and it's the the interest rate on it has actually beat the interest rate that Tesla uh, sent me over so it would be about like a two two ish percent which is very low um, so if I were to like if I were to finance the portion that wasn't paid for by my car um, sale, then yeah, that could that could potentially be good. But I don't know. We shall see. Let me know. It's gonna be a, de a decision, like like in the back of my head. Also, I turned on Sentry mode overnight, and it drained the battery uh, by let's see, it was 98% when I got back from picking up dinner, and then. Um, when I got in the car, it was 91%, so it drained it that much overnight. So I actually just turned off sentry mode, but, um, fun fact, I did not know this. Heading to the Audi dealership now. Leaving the Audi dealership now, my car is all fixed. Filled it up with gas, coolant's good. The leak is fixed and they said that there's a brand new, smaller um, than the e-tron electric vehicle that's coming out, like maybe Q4 of this year. It's gonna be called the Q4. Um, price range is gonna be like 44 to 45 or to 50. Um, so kind of like the Model 3, um, very interesting. But it's not, or he said that there would be an adapter where you can charge at Tesla destination chargers, but I don't know. I feel like I would still get the Tesla just because of the charging network that exists with it. It's like a, a like a lot a lot of chargers across the U.S. But I'm glad they fixed it. Um, here's my check. Audi is paying for this rental. Thank you, Audi. Thank you for fixing my car. I'm, I know. It was a pain for me actually because I had to come back here. I was like done. I picked up my car already last time. So parked my car somewhere over there. Gonna pick it up on Sunday with Lennox. Um, he's gonna drive me here. So yeah, success overall. I got to try the Tesla Model 3. I manifested that somehow and I guess it was all um, a win after all. to San Diego from Newport. I am going to try the autopilot. Let's see if it works. Okay, so 
it's on autopilot now. Let go of the, the foot on the gas, so now it's not. And, um, yeah, so now it's autopilot. What does it say? Apply it slight turning force. Yeah, you got it. There we go. So it just wants you to like a little bit like tap. I'm going too slow. I need, how do I increase the speed on this? Hold on. Okay, so I just switched lanes instead of um, trying to increase the speed because it's already programmed to go to 72, I believe. Um, but yeah, right now it's on autopilot and I can't wait so that I don't have to press on the gas. I just do have to hold the wheel and I do have to pay attention to the road. It's going too slow and I don't know how to make it go faster on autopilot so I'm just gonna drive it home because I want to go faster and get home quicker so um, well that's that it was so so nice um, using this car I am going to return it on Turo um, or at the place I picked it up and oh I do love this car just kidding traffic y'all this is the reality Friday at 236 stopped traffic all right so i am here at the supercharger in downtown san diego um i am so tired oh my gosh i've been driving for such a long time traffic was really bad um it was i left um orange county um newport coast at 1 30 and i didn't get to la jolla till, till like 4 45 i am exhausted um but now I have to charge the Tesla before I go return it. Um, so I am here at the charge uh, supercharger. So here's what it looks like. This one specifically is a paid garage. And you go in here. Wait, what the? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was pulling the wrong end. Oh, cool. So it's blue if it's a supercharger. Um, when I charged at the Hyatt, it was green. Um, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's what it means. Oh, that guy's green. Not sure. Oh, now it's green. Okay, so, whew, I'm so tired. All right, let's see. 55 minutes, what? Hold on. That can't be right. It's gonna take an hour to charge from 43 to 100? Holy crap. <sighs> um, that's more than I expected. I thought it would charge, I thought it would charge to like, f I thought it would only take 15 minutes. Huh. I'm a little delirious because I've been in the car for so long. How do we... I'm so confused. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so I texted my contact at Tesla. He's the one that did the test drive for me. Um, I just asked him a question like, hey, I just got to the supercharger and it's saying I had, so I started with 49% battery and now this thing is saying it's gonna take 50 minutes. Like, is that real? Um, I'm gonna wait for him to text back, but right now it's at 52%. Okay, right now it's at 53% and it says 50 minutes remaining, which seems kind of high. Um, I mean, I have time for it because I'm supposed to return the the car by 6 30 so it's like and it's only in little italy which is like a few minutes away but damn this is like the annoying part i think like I if you don't have a house um you have to take like an hour of your day to charge this it just seems odd like i thought i read somewhere that it would fully charge in 25 minutes um i also uh yeah I just thought it would go from like 0% charge to like 
100% charge in 25 minutes. That's what I read. I must have read it wrong. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just like feeling extra impatient because I'm just like so tired and I've been on the road for what feels like forever. Um, and I get what people are saying where like they get home, they can plug it in and they don't have to think about it. They get wake up the next day and it's charged. So for those of you that own a Tesla and don't have a house garage to charge it, like what do you do? <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed with it. So I just, it went from like, oh my God, this is so fun to like, wait, does it really take 50 minutes? <laughs> And like, I know I can like go outside and like walk around downtown. Oh, it's now saying 45. Maybe they're just like, maybe this is like an overestimation. Um, yeah, maybe it's very overestimated. Oh, I should have started tracking what time I parked here. Hold on. Okay, update. It is quickly adjusting to a lesser time frame. Sorry, that 55 minutes freaked me out. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, so now it's 77%. And I got here, it was like 49%. So it's definitely faster. Whew, scared me. Um, I don't know if you could see it in my eyes, but I'm so tired. I don't get good sleep in Newport. Cause like, um, I just like, I'm not used to the beds and the pillows, you know, if you're like that and you can't sleep in a strange bed, <laughs> you're with me. So I'm glad that this thing is gonna be done charging very soon. It's 78% now. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, at first I was like, wait, what kind of supercharger is this? It's gonna take an hour. Um, that's not a supercharger. So yeah, it's working. Do you guys ever feel, um, you know, when you go on uh, like a plane ride and you go travel somewhere and then you're like, you arrive at your home airport, you're grabbing your things and like all you care about is just going home. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's how I feel because I've been away all week. Um, but I'm just grateful to have tried this car. This supercharger is actually really fast. Um, and there's a lot of other cars doing it. So there's like, people have been coming and going here. And they do charge for, okay. So they do charge for parking at this garage. You have to pay, you have to enter to park here. But the really cool thing is the kilowatt per hour or kilowatt whatever fee at other places there's like a uh an upcharge for like common hours of charging so like the other one that's where you don't have to pay for to get into the garage it was 48 cents per kilowatt whatever this one is 25 cents so it's basically like half like i would pay double to like charge it there so i was like you know what let me just pay for the garage it might be even like fewer people because people don't want to pay for parking um, I don't know like the math like what evens out but because I had a lot to charge on the car I was like maybe I'll save money by doing the 24 cent one and just paying for parking so okay we're at okay we're at 90 percent woohoo okay um I'm gonna leave once it's a hundred and then return this car wait I just realized um they did not they did not charge me to they did not charge me to plug this in. How does, so like, does it charge the account holder? Um, that's very confusing. I haven't paid a thing to plug this in. I'm confused. Maybe it charges the guy who owns this car and then he's gonna bill it back to me through Turo. That is the question. All right, so that supercharging session costs $7.20 plus six dollars for the parking, so not too bad. Downtown San Diego. I returned the Turo. Goodbye Tesla Model 3. If you like the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of it. And this guy was so nice to pick me up. And now we're heading for vegan sushi. So thank you for watching and until next time. Little Italy on a Friday night in San Diego. So the verdict on the Tesla is I'm not going to get it because I don't have a way to charge it at home. Supercharging is very, very annoying. So yeah, going to keep the Audi. That's, that's the verdict.